So hello brothers and sisters, good morning to all. Today's topic is measurement of delta U and delta H. It is the continuation of thermodynamics. Measurement of delta U at a constant volume can be explained by the bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter it is used to determine the amount of heat released in the combustion reaction. And measurement of delta H at a constant pressure, it can be used to explain by the coffee cup calorimeter. It is used to determination of amount of heat released or absorbed by using the reaction. This name is called heat of the reaction or enthalpy of reaction. This takes place different type of condition. We have to explain one by one. Measurement of delta U and delta H can be explained by the calorimeter. This calorimeter is nothing but to measure the amount of heat absorbed in the process, either is a physical process or chemical process. For example, Heat flow is directly proposed to the temperature difference. That is the change in temperature is directly proposed to the heat capacity. This equation become Q is equal to C into M into delta T. C nothing but Q divided by that is a M into delta T. By using this equation, we have to measure the amount of heat absorbed during the reaction. Calorimetric measurement are made up of, there are two conditions. Condition number one, at a constant volume, that is a QV. Another one, at a constant pressure that is a QP. First discuss about measurement of delta U at a constant volume. For any chemical reaction, the amount of heat absorbed at a constant volume can be explained by the bomb calorimeter. This equation becomes delta U equal to C into M into that is a delta T. Here M nothing but capital M divided by small m. Here delta U known as Change in internal energy. C is the heat capacity. M is the molar mass of the substance. Small m is the amount of substance taken in the process. Delta T nothing but change in temperature. This equation can be explained by the bomb calorimeter.
this diagram is a best example for warm calorimeter it is used to determination of amount of heat released in the combustion reaction this going to be explained one by one point number 1 the amount of weighted substance taken in the crucible this a crucible it is a made up of platinum copper and connected with electrical heater this a point number 1 point number 2 this known as bomb the bomb is a tightly closed and compressed with there is a pressure and a supply of excess of oxygen this a bomb tightly is a closed and pressurized with excess of oxygen this is a point number 2 Point number three. This a bomb immersed into the water in the inside volume of calorimeter. Next point. This known as stirrer. Stirrer. It is used to place between the bomb and the insulating jacket. Next point. This are the thermometer. Thermometer is placed between the bomb and insulating jacket it is used to measure the temperature during the reaction another one the water is constantly stirred or uniformly stirred by using the stirrer reaction going to be started by striking the weighted amount of the substance through the electric heater here the weighted amount of the substance burns with oxygen and produce amount of heat during this reaction then measure the temperature by using the beckman thermometer next next point if the bomb is sealed its volume does not change here the amount of heat release during the reaction at a constant volume this should be equal to sum of heat absorbed by the water and calorimeter this can be going to be calculated first point number 1 heat absorbed by the calorimeter That is a Q1 should be equal to M C into C C into delta T. Here, this equation become K into delta T. Here, K is the calorimeter constant. Here. mc nothing but a mass of the calorimeter another one is a cc nothing but a heat capacity of calorimeter next the amount of heat absorbed by the water that is a q2 should be equal to m w and c w into delta t here m w nothing but molar mass of the water c w nothing but molar heat capacity of calorimeter delta t nothing but a, that is a change in temperature here this diagram is a very important this diagram it is used to determine the amount of heat released in the combustion reaction here 
this uh, these are the diagram this a diagram explained by the one by one this a point number one the weighted amount of the substance is taken the crucible crucible made up of platinum cup and connected with the electric heater second point the bomb is closely tightly packed and pressurized with excess of oxygen next point the bomb is immersed in water in the inside volume of the calorimeter next point stirrer and the thermometer are placed between the bomb and the insulating jacket next point water can be stirred by using the stirrer reaction going to be started by using the striking the weighted amount of the substance with the help of electrical heater here the weighted amount of the substance burns in with the oxygen temperature will be released by using the temperature we can measure the temperature by using the beckman thermometer if bomb is tightly sealed its volume does not change here amount of heat measured at a constant volume this should be equal to heat of that is amount of heat absorbed during the reaction is the sum of heat absorbed by both calorimeter and water first heat absorbed by the calorimeter that is this formula here mc nothing but mass of the calorimeter cc nothing but heat capacity of the calorimeter delta t nothing but change in temperature or temperature difference another one heat absorbed by the water that is a q2 should be equal to mw into cw delta t mw nothing but molar mass of water cw nothing but molar heat capacity delta t nothing but change in temperature or rise in temperature this a conclusion the amount of heat absorbed or absorbed during the chemical reaction this known as heat of combustion heat of combustion is equal to sum of heat absorbed by the calorimeter and water this equation becomes delta u should be equal to q1 plus q2 this nothing but amount of heat absorbed by the calorimeter this nothing but amount of heat absorbed by the water this equation becomes k delta t plus small m w c w delta t take the common delta t k plus m w c w is a delta t this equation becomes what is a delta u delta u nothing but change in internal energy k nothing but calorimeter constant it is is to determination of knowing the weight of the substance burns in with oxygen another one is a, you know that mw is a molar mass of the water cw is a molar heat capacity of water delta t nothing but change in temperature now in the values of all we can find out the delta u this known as a change in internal energy at the constant volume next topic a measurement of delta h at the constant pressure
for any chemical reaction the amount of heat or heat absorbed or released during the chemical reaction at a constant pressure can be explained by the coffee cup calorimeter This is known as copy, cup, colorimeter, instant bomb. We are using the nested insulating cup or styrofoam. It is made up of polystyrene. This one is a good adiabatic wall or good adiabatic cell. It is used to, does not allow the transfer of heat during the reaction at a constant pressure. By using this one, we have to measure the temperature. Here, at a constant pressure, amount of heat or uh, amount of heat absorbed or released at a constant pressure, this is known as a heat of the reaction or enthalpy of reaction. This equation becomes Q2, that is a MW and CW into delta. Instead of bomb, we are using the styrofoam. Styrofoam is what a good adiabatic wall. It is easy to does not allow the temperature change or heat change or transfer of heat during the reaction. The entire heat energy absorbed only by the water. So Temperature change of water can be measured, that is the amount of heat absorbed or released at a constant pressure. This name is called heat of the reaction. Heat of the reaction should be equal to Mw, Cw and delta T. Mw nothing but molar mass of the water. Cw nothing but molar heat capacity of water. Because of this one, heat energy absorbed by the only water into delta T. Another equation that is a delta H should be equal to QP. Delta H nothing but amount of heat change or change in enthalpy should be equal to it is what heat flow at constant pressure. Heat flow nothing but amount of heat absorbed or released during the reaction at a constant pressure. This can be explained there are two conditions. Condition number one exothermic reaction
exothermic reaction nothing but the amount of heat released if the system loss of energy to the surrounding this equation becomes delta h should be equal to qp is a negative another one is a endothermic reaction here endothermic nothing but the amount of heat absorbed if the system gain of energy from the surrounding so this equation become delta h should be equal to qp is a positive what is the delta h amount of heat absorbed that is a change in enthalpy should be equal to amount of heat absorbed or released during the reaction here amount of heat energy released here amount of heat energy absorbed here the system is what a loss of energy to the surrounding the system is a gain of energy from the surrounding this equation is what explained by the exothermic and the endothermic reaction another final equation enthalpy change at constant pressure that is a delta h not calorimeter this takes place at a constant pressure so be equal to delta u not c this takes place at a constant volume plus delta ng rt this equation can be explained by the according to the first law of thermodynamics here not delta h nothing but standard enthalpy change at a constant pressure should be equal to standard internal energy change at a constant volume plus delta ng rt depends upon the delta ng this value may be changed if the delta ng equal to 0 delta h not c is b equal to delta u not if a delta ng is a positive delta h not greater than the delta u not if the delta g is a negative delta h not c less than the delta u not this type of question may be asked in both neat and theory it is a enthalpy of change at constant pressure according to the thermodynamic first law at a constant pressure and a constant volume what is the equation changes we have to discuss there is a h so b equal to u plus pv here h nothing but enthalpy u nothing but internal energy p nothing but pressure v nothing but volume If the system changes from initial to final, that is a h2 minus h1, u2 minus u1. Here, p is a constant. It's a v2 minus v2. V2 minus v1. This equation become delta h delta u plus p delta v. At a different condition, the the result. delta v another one equation there is a we have to differentiate in terms of v another one we have to differentiate in the terms of p this is nothing but v delta p at a constant pressure constant pressure there is a delta r p r 
टीपी होता सेम से बी इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इक्वेशन बिकम्स डेल्टा वच से बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू प्लस पी डेल्टा बी वी नो इन द वैल्यूज ऑफ चेंज इन द वॉल्यूम एंड द प्रेशर एंड द डेल्टा यू वी कैन फाइंड आउट द डेल्टा वच डेल्टा वच रहती है मत चेंज इन एनथाल्पी डेल्टा यू नथिंग बट चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी हियर प्रेशर अनदर ओनली इज अ वॉल्यूम चेंज नेक्स्ट एट अ कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम दिस डेल्टा वी शुड बी इक्वल टू 0 दिस इक्वेशन बिकम्स डेल्टा एच शुड बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू प्लस दिस टर्म्स 0 वी डेल्टा पी We know in the values of delta P, V and delta U, we can find out the delta H. Delta H, that means the amount of heat changes or enthalpy changes. Next, application is a bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter. It is easy to determine. The amount of heat absorbed during the reaction. This is point number one. Another point number two. Palm calorimeter. It is easy to determine the calorific value. Calorific value of food. Excellent. Point number three. Bomb calorimeter used in the many industrial, for example, to measure or study that is a metabolic study. Another one, food processing. Another one, explosive testing. These are the important one for the applications of palm calorimeter. First one to determine the amount of heat there is a absorbed that is a absorbed during the combustion reaction. Another point to determine the calorific values of food. Another one in many industry is a palm calorimeter. It is easy to is a measure the metabolic study food processing. And explosive testing. Let us recap the measurement of delta U at a constant volume. Can be explained by the palm calorimeter. Palm calorimeter it is easy to determine the heat absorbed during the combustion reaction. Another point, measurement of delta H at a constant pressure. This can be explained by the coffee cup calorimeter. It is easy to the amount of heat absorbed or released during the reaction. This known as a heat of combustion. This should be equal to the amount of heat absorbed by the water. The final equation Q2 should be equal to M W into C W into delta T. Here M W nothing but molar mass of the water, C W nothing but molar heat capacity of water, and delta T nothing but rise in temperature or change in temperature. Another one according to the first law, H should be equal to U plus P V. 
this going to be explain what are the condition at a at a constant pressure at a constant volume another point is the application of pump calorimeter there are three type of application first application to determine the amount of heat absorbed during the combustion reaction next application to calculate or to determine the calorific values of wood another third point in many industrial process that is in industry we can measure the metabolic study another one is a food processing and explosive testing let us recap the is all the concept and practice the all the concept and the diagram get highest mark good luck